Hi, today I want to share with you on a topic that is so important to me because it's something that I discovered that created a profound shift in my health, in my energy levels, in my vibrancy. And because it created such a profound shift physically, mentally, and emotionally in my life, it created that space that I needed to create the business of my dreams, to create the independence that I wanted, to create the life that I wanted. And so, so many times I'm teaching online and in and, and speaking opportunities and different places and podcasts around Ayurveda, but I wanted to share kind of the, the nugget, a golden wisdom from this concept, from this blueprint, from this toolkit that maybe I haven't explained this way before. So to me, the key to investing in my health daily, to the preventive health that I live by and that I teach is this concept of health sovereignty. I want sovereignty. I want freedom. I want the sovereignty in my life to do what I want when I want to. I want the sovereignty to live till 80, 100 or beyond, but free of being dragged down by medical issues and horrible diseases and being in terms of and having to do medical management for the last quarter of my life, which is what I see the majority of people having to do. I want sovereignty to travel the world, to explore it. I want sovereignty to set my children up for a complete education that's debt-free and for them to go on and build the life of their dreams. I want to have that ability to invest and support them in whatever way they need. I want sovereignty in my life to build a schedule and design my life that's incredible that I love. I want to be able to journal and say, if I died today, I'd be happy because I did everything I wanted. If I journaled and said, wow, if I only have a week to live, what would I do? I'd live this exact life I'm living now because this is the life that I love. I would build a life where I'm so vibrant and healthy that no matter what I decide to do, I have the energy and capacity to do it. And so the thing is that life that I'm trying to explain to you, I already have it. I've already built it. And it's funny because whenever I hit the new year or the holidays, I'm always like, okay, well, what am I going to want to change? Or when I go to a personal development conference, uh, I go to Tony Robbins conferences or different conferences. I'm like, okay, well, let me map out and design my life. I design it the way it already is, is in this moment. Like this is the life that I want. The way that I want to feel, I have built it. And I've, I've done that by using Ayurveda's tools. So Ayurveda is a system of health and healing and medicine from India. It's over 5,000 years old. It's the sister science to yoga. So if you've tried yoga and you love it, Ayurveda is that next deeper extension of taking yoga off the mat and into your life. Um, and I keep trying to teach it and explain it. And maybe I'm not getting my point across. So I'm going to try it a different way today. If you crave health sovereignty, if you crave freedom, if you crave winning in your business and your life in a completely new way that you haven't been able to attain yet, if you are suffering from symptoms related to autoimmune and chronic disease, which is most of the country, most of the world post-pandemic, if you're suffering from fatigue, brain fog, exhaustion, joint pain, pains in the body, GI distress, upset gut, a uh, weakened immune system, gut issues, hormone imbalances, you name it. Ayurveda has solutions for all of this. And it's by taking that situation of symptoms and dropping us down back out of those issues and bringing the body back to homeostasis that the body can then heal itself. And that is the art and wisdom and magic and science of Ayurveda. Within Ayurveda, I teach people how to take their mind-body constitution, your individual dosha, and bring it into balance. It's not instant. I'm not about instant gratification. I'm about doing the work that it takes to finally win and then staying in that zone of being a winner or having that sovereignty. Dosha is one big piece. Circadian rhythm. People are talking about circadian rhythm and circadian clock and circadian medicine. This is an Ayurvedic concept. Ayurvedic practitioners have taught that for 5,000 years and lived by it. Living by it is its own discipline, but living by your circadian rhythm can be the 
jumping off point from which you have the life that you want. If you're in rhythm with nature, if you're ebbing and flowing with nature, imagine how much easier it is to do everything you want to do versus if there's a, a hill and you're trying to climb uphill every day, failing and tumbling down, exhausted and losing at the end of your day in terms of what you're eating, what you're drinking and how you feel. What's the point? What's the point of all this if every day is an uphill battle? In Ayurveda, we talk a lot about gut. We teach gut as digestive fire. We all have a digestive fire in us. And it's our job to honor that digestive fire every day, to wake up and kindle that fire like it's a campfire, to then maintain it, to have it really be strong when it needs to digest our meals that are nutrient packed and going to give us all the vitamins and minerals and essential nutrients that we need so the body can consistently heal itself and protect itself. We need that digestive fire to, to then cool down, but not be completely shut off so we can have a beautiful night's sleep where again, the body is supported in healing everything that needs to heal clear out everything it needs to clear out, lymphatic system, lymphatic system, all the systems, and then start fresh the next day. If we aren't investing in sleep as its own health modality or health pillar, we're not going to win at our health, period. Weight gain, brain fog, exhaustion, fatigue, any itis or inflammation in the body, you're not investing in sleep well enough. Let me rephrase. Your sleep is not ideal, and it's your job to find out how you need to invest in it so that you can win at sleep, so that you can win at inflammation, your lymphatic system, et cetera. Um, I also teach Ayurvedic diet. In Ayurveda, we have an entire whole protocol for how to eat every day, all the ways we shouldn't eat, and then many of the ways that we should. And a lot of times it's simple, tiny changes. I'm not here to tell you that you have to eat salad and fish 24 seven until you die. Ayurveda follows something much closer to what we would call now the Mediterranean diet. It's a diet that we call the sattvic diet. It's about eating an organic, fresh, plant-based diet that allows for a lot of moderation. I sit there and customize to people what they can pull in and pull out in their lives based on your lifestyle, based on how you live, based on what's going on in your life and the workload involved and the energy needs that you have. If you have certain energy needs, you need the inputs to get through what you're trying to get through in your life. That's how I look at it. How am I fueling my body to achieve everything I want to achieve? How am I fueling my body through this season? So seasonality, circadian clock, circadian rhythm, seasonality is a big piece of what I teach. So we went over mind-body constitution, dosha. We went over circadian rhythm. We went over digestive fire, diet, sleep. Then there's detoxification, detoxing the body consistently at the right times of the year. And once doing a big detox is very important. If we want the body to be set up for success throughout the year, we have to invest in little detoxes along the way. And sometimes that's daily self-care rituals that are very detoxing. Um, but to do that is to set up the body for true prevention. And to me, I don't want to have the issues my family had. My family history of diabetes to me is atrocious. And I never, ever want to end up in the boat of my family. So to me, I consistently invest in my preventive health every single day. The way I built my whole life is for prevention. And then self-care. I teach profound, radical self-care from Ayurveda, but in a way that's doable, that's attainable. I kind of design it as if you're a pro athlete and you have to get through your day and through your life. Where are the breaks? Where are the stops? Where are the investments? Where are we going to pack in a punch to give you what you need to get through the next part of your day? And so Ayurveda gives us such an incredible way to support our health on a daily basis, on a monthly basis, on a seasonal basis, on an annual basis. Ayurveda gives us the blueprint we need to shift how we are living our life in the here and now so that we can have the result that we want over the long haul. Ayurveda gives us the tool we need to stop whatever health journey we're on and switch the fork in the road. Ayurveda also gives us um, all the tools we need to turn off the light switches of inflammation that might have been turned on on our health journey. So I teach a lot of the time that when we're younger, we switch on all the light switches of inflammation in the body and we never take the time to shut them off. 
And that's why later on, we see so many symptoms and health issues come up because inflammation was a chronic low grade burning fire, damaging our bodies the whole time. So I love working with people in two ways. I have a six week program called Fusionary Method that I built. And I teach these six pillars of health in there in a very beautiful, immersive way. And I teach that program two to three times a year in small group with women. And my goal there is it's do it at your own pace, kind of, because we are in group calls, but you have time over the six weeks to watch the videos, to learn, to hear them twice. I'm like this on video showing you how to do it. And then I work with clients one-on-one. So that's where I get to customize for your dosha, for balancing you, for helping you understand how this applies to you and how to help you make those radical shifts that you need. And that's where I get a chance to really dive in. Which supplements, which probiotics, what quality of things are you taking in your life? And how is that really the problem? How is the the few little habit shifts that you need to make Um, the ones that are kind of impacting you so negatively that you're not getting what you want. I want you to get what you want. I want you to have health sovereignty. I want you to have mental, emotional, physical sovereignty in your life. I want you to look and feel the way you want to in your body. And what I know for sure is the more I invest in my health sovereignty to feel amazing, to have vibrancy, to have the energy that I need, the more I have the energy to create what I want in the world. And that's what gives me the financial sovereignty and the sovereignty across the board that I've always wanted. So I wanted to share that today because it's been an incredible year. And I love that I've had the opportunity to impact tens of thousands of lives. And my goal is to impact so many more. And I'm really appreciative that I get to do it um, through my six-week program by working with clients very specifically as their private Ayurvedic practitioner. And then also through my supplement company, I built fusionary formulas to change the world. I wanted us to have a new solution for inflammation that's so potent that it does the job. And thus, once we reduce that inflammation, the body is in its healed state and the body can go and heal everything else that it needs to. So I hope this was helpful to you today. If you're ready to step forward on the journey and take that step towards health, sovereignty, and independence for yourself, if you're sick of being sick, if you're sick of being tired, if you're sick of being frustrated with never achieving your health goals, maybe it's because we're not looking at the right system or toolkit or blueprint. I am born in the West, and I can tell you until I went and took a deep dive into Ayurveda, I wasn't able to create the shifts that I wanted in my health, in my well-being. And the benefit I've gotten is I have more patience. I'm a mother of two. I'm an entrepreneur. I love taking care of my health. I love self-care. I love my friends. I love my family. I'm a matriarch in the family that I'm in, which has a lot of responsibility to it. And to take care of my health and finally take back the reins and have sovereignty in my life has been the most gratifying thing ever. It's a gift that only I could have given myself. And I didn't realize that because I kept signing up for this and that and trying and potions and pills and detoxes and powders and all the things. And it's not until you understand the Ayurvedic lifestyle, embody it, practice it, and make it such a uh, integral part of the rhythm of your life, then you realize the power of it and how much it can have far-reaching effects into every aspect of your life. There's physical energy, mental energy, emotional energy, the capacity we hold for ourselves and those around us. There's the energy it takes to be in alignment and stay in alignment in this day and age and time. So I love getting the opportunity to work with people because once we're in that alignment, we're not going to let people take us out of it. We have the sovereignty and we want to keep it. So I wanted to share this thought with you today. It just, it came through in my mind as something I have to share. And if you're interested in working with me, my website is shivanigupta.com. My other one is fusionaryformulas.com. And my program is at fusionarymethod.com. But reach out because I'm interested in showing each of us how Ayurveda can impact our lives in a profound way and give us that sovereignty that we all crave. Thank you. Be well.